Hello, I'm Kobe Molson. I'm the Curriculum Manager for Maths and English at Newbury College. We are also known as the Essential Skills Department, and that is because these subjects are essential in so many different ways. It will support you while you study on your vocational program and progress into a successful career pathway. Apprenticeships rely on a high standard of maths and English, and it's essential when you continue to study in a high educational program. When you enrol on your vocational program, we will establish the grades that you have attained previously. If you are required to continue studying in these subjects, we will support you every step of the way. We have got two programs, the GCSE and Functional Skills programs. You're probably more familiar with GCSE. In college, this is a one-year program with an exam at the end. Functional Skills is a standalone qualification. It focuses on your literacy and numeracy skills and has multiple opportunities to assessment during the year. Our friendly and experienced team is looking forward to supporting you on this journey. Hello, my name is Gina McGuinness and I'm one of the teachers on the English for Non-Native Speakers course. But if English is not your first language, this is the course for you. We offer classes to a range of levels from complete beginners with no or little English to advanced learners who already have a good knowledge of the English language. So whatever your level, we have a class for you. All our teachers are friendly, professional and experienced. They will help you settle into class and work hard to make you to help you to make progress in English. We run both daytime and evening classes so you can study with us when you are not working. In our classes we study all the skills, speaking, listening, reading and writing, as well as working on grammar and vocabulary. We know that speaking and listening are very useful to you, but it is important to study the other skills as well. Before you can join our classes, you will need to do an assessment. Don't worry about this. It just helps us to put you in the best class so you can learn better. I really hope that this gives you an idea of our courses and I look forward to seeing you soon. Lovely. So we all agree that we're recording. Everyone's happy with that. Yes. Yes. Say yes. Yes. So Adele, I wanted to ask you first. Um, okay. How did you? How do you feel about your English classes? Can you tell me what you do in class? Uh, we. Uh... We learn many grammatical uh, rules and uh, we learn many expressions and idioms that is useful. And it, uh, they make me very uh, confident in uh, writing mostly. And uh, uh, also, I, I like the uh, part of the class that. Uh, you uh, corrected our mistakes, our writings, and uh, give us uh, some uh, points and tips how to correct them uh, and how to use uh, a more English structured sentences. Because I used to uh, uh, make some sentences that is near in, uh, was near in my native language. I learned that uh, I use more English version of that. Thank you, Adele. Edit, was it difficult to get the English class at Newbury College? How easy was it? Well, for me, it was really easy. I just uh, sent my application and I think one or two days after I already had a call from you and uh, it was really easy. You just uh, arranged the meeting and uh, yeah, it was easy. And were you a bit nervous before? How did you feel before you started your class? Well, I was nervous, but 
I wanted to go and start this course because I wouldn't be comfortable about my English and it really helped me a lot. So I was confused about uh, a couple of grammatic uh, stuff and um, now it started to be clear in my head. Yeah. Thank you, Edith. Um, Zenia, what about you? Because you have uh, your hearing impaired. How yeah. do you find the classes? Uh, what do you mean how to find the classes? So what, what do you think of the classes? Are they easy to follow or difficult to follow? Well, for me, it's, it's, everything's easy except to get uh, the sound that I try to hear. And to, if you turn around when you write in board, I can't read lips. And yeah, but until I have get a new ready aid pen, Roger pen, and I'm much better than before. So the pen helps you to hear, um, yeah. to hear, and also you have um, somebody who sits next to you and who helps you to make sure that you can understand the instructions yeah. when you're working. Is that useful? Very useful, and I have support. But I have support, and I'm very happy, and I can go easily to him. Yeah, that's good. The support helps you with the classes, doesn't it? Yeah. And Victoria, what about you? How do you find the classes? I think classes really help to improve my English, especially writing. Because now when I even write on computer on my phone, it's less the headlines. It's <laughs> and, and do, you, do you think the classes are useful for your job? Yes, yes, it is. I think now I speak more grammatically correctly than before. Thank you. Mariah, what about you? Mariah. Uh, the same question. <laughs> yes, yes. Just what yes. are your thoughts? What what do you think? Do you think you it's useful to come and study at the college? Yes, it has been because uh, at first time uh, I had been for two weeks. Uh, I didn't go to Newark College and I I feel like I could speak with very people because I, I had a grammatical mistake all the time and I feel more confident when I joined Henry College and I was scared because I thought all the people was in a high level, a high level because I joined a few months later but it wasn't it was so easy to follow. Good, so it's been very good for your confidence. Thank you very much, yeah. ladies. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.